And how about this for an out of this world story? Only this isn't science fiction, this is a true story. As of yesterday, the Earth has two moons, kind of. A tiny asteroid, only about 32 feet long, was making its orbit around the sun when it was pulled into Earth's orbit. It's called 2024 PT5 and will hang out in our orbit until just before Thanksgiving. So we sat down with the University of Iowa astronomer to get the lowdown on Earth's so-called mini moon. Joining us now to talk all things mini moon is Casey Giroux, associate professor at the University of Iowa. Thank you so much for being here with us. It's my pleasure. All right. I, like I said before, it's an asteroid. It's not another moon. But will people be able to see it, or do you need a telescope for this? Oh, this is one of the most disappointing peaches about this. <laughs> no, it is really small. So uh, we have been able to find this using scientific telescopes, and it is in orbit around us. But if you're picturing this, right, it's about 10 meters in size, so it's like a school bus. And it's at roughly the distance away to the moon. So if you imagine picking out a school bus, the distance to the moon, that'd be really, really difficult to do with your naked eyes, let alone for something that is just supposed to be reflecting sunlight. So unless you happen to have, say, uh, you know, three foot diameter telescope lying around in your backyard, you'll be out of luck. Is this the first time uh, in, in modern history that this has happened? No, it's actually kind of interesting. This happens pretty regularly. So this mini moon in particular is kind of interesting because uh, it only does one loop around us in what we call a horseshoe orbit. So it starts in the front, uh, will circle around kind of lazily around Earth one time and then carry off on its mini merry way. Um, but we have other instances of near Earth objects uh, like these kinds of uh, asteroids uh, circling our, our Earth or, or coming into orbit uh, around us a, a couple times a year, actually. And was so did people know this was coming? I know it was discovered by astronomers in South Africa. Did they know to look for it? No. And so what's actually kind of wild about this is we discovered this uh, this asteroid, this mini moon, uh, essentially after its closest approach. So we discovered it on August 7th and it already slung shot by Earth. Uh, and then we'll do this sort of lazy orbit where um, it, it forms sort of an ellipse or like a distended circle. And then we'll go through a brief period where it's gravitationally bound or under most of the influence of Earth's gra most under the influence of Earth's gravity from about September 29th uh, until November 25th. So it'll stick around until Thanksgiving, and then it'll carry on its merry way for another 30 years until we interact with it again. Oh, so we'll see it again yeah. come 2050 we'll something. It's got to be in the right spot. So again, it is even difficult to find this with scientific grade telescopes. Asteroids don't make their own light. They only reflect the sunlight. And so we've got to be in this position where you can see reflection off of the asteroid coming back into your telescope. So they're very, very dim and you need a lot of light collecting power. So we'll keep an eye on it over that 30 years um, and we'll see it come back through. Uh, and we'll probably re-image it at that point because we'll know to look for it. Wow. So Casey, for you as an astronomer, what were your feelings when you first heard about this? I and mean, what'd you think? Well, so it's kind of interesting because we discovered this through um, a series of ground-based telescopes that are actually charged with mapping um, near Earth objects, near Earth asteroids. So, you know, there's these like science fiction movies where we worry about oh no, in comes Armageddon or something where we'd have a colossal collision. And so, you know, we've been thinking about this as a society for a long time. And in fact, back in the mid 2000s, uh, the United States Congress charged NASA, gave it part of its mandate is to go off and find near Earth asteroids of which there are probably something like half a billion estimated around Earth. And we have actually mostly succeeded at that task. So this, the asteroids that we worry most about, the big ones, we found at least 98% of them over that course of those 20 years. And we have got them tracked out to the point that we would know if they were coming for a collision course with Earth with at least five years of lead time. In addition to that, NASA has been at work on things like the DART mission, which is an asteroid redirection mission uh, that was launched and successful at changing the orbital trajectory of an asteroid. So mostly what I think about this kind of discovery is it, it shows like when we put effort into public funding, we can actually solve existential problems related to us. 
we actually don't really lose a lot of sleep about asteroid impacts, nor should we, because we've actually spent the time and the money and the legwork and the scientific know-how to kind of retire this threat. Casey, thank you so much for being here with us. I appreciate your time. It was really my pleasure. Thank you. And if you want to share this story, we have our full article about Earth's mini moon up on our website under the As Seen on TV tab.